Days payables outstanding measures how many days on average it takes to pay off accounts payable. It's sometimes called the DPO. Days payable outstanding is a measure of efficiency. The formula to calculate days payable outstanding has two parts. The first part is cost of goods sold divided by 365 days if you're calculating this using annual data. This gives us the average one day's cost of goods sold. The second part is taking average accounts payable and dividing it by the average one day's cost of goods sold calculated in part one. This gives us the day's payable outstanding. So here's an income statement from a sample company. I've highlighted cost of goods sold and we'll use that information to determine the average one day's cost of goods sold. Additionally, we'll need some information from the current liabilities section of a balance sheet. I've highlighted two years worth of accounts payable balances. For 2016, part one gives us an average one day's cost of goods sold of $150.68. In part two, we divide the average uh, accounts payable by the one day's cost of goods sold to get 20.9 days. On average, we're paying off accounts payable about every 21 days. Generally, Companies would want days sales and receivable to be less than days payable outstanding or a cash shortage could occur.